It's the athletic event of the year, mailboat jumper tryouts down on Geneva Lake, where teenagers will run from this boat, it never stops moving, and run onto a dock to deliver mail and hop back on. You don't want to get wet. It's all about execution on either side of the dock, and only some get the coveted role of being a mail jumper. The day started off well. Just check out that textbook form off the boat onto the dock, gets the mail in there back onto the boat, made it look easy. Next jump, Ethan Connolly has a lot to live up to. Mail jumping runs into his family. A little bit of a stutter there, but makes it back on. I did pretty good on the entrance. I little stuttered a bit just because I wanted to make sure I got my footing correctly. The boat has been delivering mail for 105 years on Geneva Lake. For about 15 years, it's been a summer gig for teens. The boat travels at a steady five miles per hour, always, which means things don't always work out. Aaron Hansler's first run went real well. Just a little hesitation. Come on, camera guy, you gotta get out of the way. But she makes it on easy. But her next one, just a little slow, getting off the pier and misses the boat. I got caught up in it. I, I thought too much. If I would have just jumped, I thought I think I could have gotten back on the boat. This is how a veteran does it. This could be Paige Aspinall's fourth year. Long pier, but she's hightailing it back on the boat. She's got the razzmatazz to play on the jazz. Qualifications for this job, be fast, or you gotta know how to swim this guy. He's got issues like Kleenex tissues. Ooh, misses the boat by a mile. Oh, the water's great. In addition to delivering mail, teens will also be narrating a historical tour. Those start June 15th. In Lake Geneva, James Grow, TMJ4 News.